After hours long parliamentary group meeting, Raila Odinga led the Zimio coalition resolved that the bipartisan talks will remain suspended until their demands are met. Kenya Kwanza has asked that the co-chairpersons meet to discuss and write the required letters so that the joint bipartisan talks can continue. It is, however, the view of the parliamentary group that those concessions are not good enough to allow us to return to the talks. There are about 130 Azimio lawmakers saying that in order for the talks to resume, all Jubilee MPs who decamped to President William Ruto's camp must resign and face by elections and the nominated lawmakers be replaced. It is our resolution that other than merely committing not to interfere in the affairs of other parties, Kenya Kwanza must agree that all Jubilee MPs and indeed any other MPs who have defected to Kenya Kwanza, in essence, have to face by elections. They include nominated MP Sabina Chege and Yela MP Kanini Kega. Sabina Chege has already been dealt a blow after she was removed a National Assembly Deputy Minority Whip and replaced with Jubilee Loyalist and Bakasi West MP Mark Mwenje. The changes come after the Jubilee Party leader, former President Turu Kenyatta, presided over the party's National Delegates Conference last week and announced changes in the party's leadership. As Mio now wants the registered political parties to enforce the changes made in the Jubilee Party leadership, including retaining Uhuru Kenyatta and Jeremiah Kioni as party leader and Secretary General, respectively. Other demands is for the government to lower the cost of Ms. Flower, hold the IBC recruitment process, and audit the presidential election results. Until all these are agreed upon, the joint bipartisan talks remain. Suspended. Ruto's Kenya Kwanza Alliance has until today midnight to agree to the demands for the bipartisan talks to resume. Give us in minor K24, Nairobi.